In the Hal Parish household, internet is key for running their small businesses. All my, all my businesses on online. Everything I sell is all through social media and my website. From music festivals to fashion week, you might recognize their work. Angela Howe is the owner and designer of Choke Cherry Creek Designs. And her husband, Christian Parrish, is the hip-hop artist and motivational speaker, Superman. Uh, the need for um, a better internet is something that helps me as a business person. If the internet's not working for you, you know, you're just, you're going to lose out. You're going to lose out on that, on that business. But they also remember a time when building their brand online was a lot harder. When we were living in Crow, we um, would park at the college and use the Wi-Fi. And I don't know a lot, a lot of people do that. You can't run a business that way. This June, Senator John Tester says millions of dollars is coming into Montana to strengthen connectivity. And it's going to make a huge difference, a noticeable difference to the folks that are, that are out there that don't have access or they're underserved right now with poor access. Funding to the tune of $120 million from the American Rescue Plan that will service 61,000 locations across the state. $47 million from the Infrastructure Act going to counties in far northwest and eastern central Montana. And another large investment from the Infrastructure Act, Tester says we can expect later in June. It's unlike any other in the past. Uh, we've done it through basic appropriation bills and it's been significant, but nothing like you're going to see with the with the infrastructure bill funding. One tool to identify gaps in connectivity is a set of improved maps from the FCC. If this is done right, the entire state will have access to high speed Internet. And these maps are the first step in doing it right. For Howe and Parrish, strengthening Internet in Montana is good news, and they hope connectivity improves for businesses across the state, especially for creators in Indigenous communities. It is very important, and it would really help the economy in our communities to have fast Internet. In Billings, Jackie Coffin, MTN News.